Hey, I just wanted to add one thing. I was looking at the uh, questions on your homework. So if you look at uh, a Lab 6 homework, um, the third question for the exponential growth equation is it says, and in two graphs using the same mean R but different CVs of R, okay? And we want three random trajectories on each. So just so uh, you're clear as to how you do that, um, if we go back to our template here, so we had uh, I'd gone through example of two uh, stochastic growth simulations, and I want you to add a third. What you can do is once you have all three, is you just take that graph. Uh, copy it and then you can paste it into your Word document um, you know that you're using for your homework um, and uh, to do the second part of that question three now basically what we're doing is asking you to just change the uh, standard deviation of R okay and we've set this up so that um, we uh, obtain the standard deviation. Uh, you can either change the CV um, and multiply that times uh, your mean R, or you can just put uh, a different value of standard deviation of R in here. So I'm just going to put a different value right in here. I'll put 2.2 .2 instead of 0.1. So then that'll automatically just change everything in the graph and so once you have all three simulations run on this graph then again you can just copy that um, and paste it into the word document and that will give you the um, graph that has the new value for standard deviation of R. So one thing that, of course, that will be important for you to do is to distinguish these two graphs and to specify, okay, this was an R of 0 0.05 with a standard deviation of R of um, 0.1, and this is a um, another graph, another set of simulations with uh, R equal 0 0.05 and a standard deviation of 0.2. Okay, so just wanted to make sure you guys knew how to do that.